Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome to Bad North. Uh, Yoden Edition, specifically. So I went through the settings a little bit. Um, just normal stuff. Make sure that I have it on the settings I like. I moved my camera over here, and I'm not sure if it's uh, where I like it exactly. But what the hey, I'll try it. Alright, let's play. Godren, Kine, Aldric, Celia, Toland. We like Toland. We have no traits or items. Okay. Richard, Barden, Egbert, Patton. Osric, Norman, Nola, Fander, Glenn. Jeez, OP. Two Glens, huh? That's a lot of guys. Oh, yeah, the tutorial on them. Generating new campaign. So I don't know what this is, but it's called Bad North Yoden Edition, and I am led to believe that it's going to be like Oregon Trail. Room, this is your home. Okay. Yep. It's funny how they split up. Defend your houses. Oh, oh, oh. You guys also there. So I guess those are the Odins. Okay. Final wave incoming. So they appear to mostly just do their, their thing on their own. Alright. Twelve Jotuns killed, I guess? Right. We need six. We got five. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to E Day then. Oh, next turn so they can rest. Oh, I see. So we are we're out running this. The big scary. Yeah, I see it. E day. Well, Bob's playing Phoenix right. Cool. Okay. You guys stance up there. And do battle. Not exactly Normandy. They're really easing you in here. It's not very difficult at the very start. Replenish or flee? This is a bit uh, more populous. Kind of interesting that the hit points are essentially how many people are in the unit. So we've actually taken some hits this time. Oh yeah, there's some guys that are dead. So if I hit replenish, oh, we got to send him to a house. Okay. No, no, no. Stop that, you bastards.
Yeah, all right. We got another five. We killed 21 that time. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Okay. Got Asphytian, Heat, and Coal. Pikes. Uh, holding position, can't fight while moving. Versatile me uh, melee unit. Melee unit. Oh, boy. Okay, let's, um... Let's give you those. We either get plunge or infantry. Hmm. So those are our classes. Both of them are fatigued as well. So, rum is now gone. Heap. Local commander. Oh boy. Okay, so getting archers is going to be a big deal, huh? guys back a little bit. Oh, they're taking the hits, actually. That's cool. So if we, if we move the, you there, you can kind of stance up and defend, which is good. Ooh, these guys have shields. That's less good. I really like the cloud of warriors just descending on a dude, you know? It's what Monopoly was like back in the Viking days, you know? Surprisingly, actually less bloodshed than modern Monopoly. Cool. I'm, I'm used to looking over here as to where my camera is, but now it's over here, so to look into the camera... I need to look a completely different direction. All right. Hi. That's okay, but eh. Let's make you archers. Okay, so it actually tracks to land. So maybe it's not even a thing of like. Ugh. Um, let's stay abreast of it. Humbug only has one house by the looks of it. It has lots of guys. Tower Isle has way more of everyone. Deploy. I wonder if it's possible to skip islands altogether. Keep shooting at him, guys. Get him. Okay. You want to watch your battle, but also you got to stay apprised of the situation, you know? Okay, this is good. I like this. Having archers is cool. I might go all archers next time. 
Although, the fact that they can't do very much damage to shieldmans is uh, a little worrying. You guys can make a background here and you there. Oh, look, it's stuck in the shield. That's so cool. What a tiny but cool detail. We have done it. Okay. So we've got... Yeah. Ooh, huh. Okay. Let's... Archers. Veteran archers. Volley. Maybe later. Let's make you pikes, so you can tank up. Pike charge and pikes. Okay. Let's do our fight, then. There you are. See, this is a roguelike. It's generates, it generates all of these in their own little ways. Yeah, get him, boys. Next one's coming in from the same place. That's good. Ooh, they got archers, though. Let's run you back away. And you guys just defend. See, look at that. The archers just cleared them out. That was great. Dude. Oh, God. Okay, luckily, they'll be able to get there and then stance up and be ready. I love the look of these bloodstained folks. Oop, and back over. See, normally they don't get to die in the boat, so the boats don't get full with blood. But these guys do. Corner them! Right, stance up. I wonder what... Oh, I see what it is. So they protect their leader. And the more they get killed, the less protection they have. That makes sense. Warhorn. Continue. Okay. Uh, calls instant reinforce. Oh, interesting. Let's fill you up, because you... Actually, no. Well. Ah, well. Okay. Then I want, like, passive upgrades more, so... Where are they at? There they are. Oh boy, um... You go here and you follow them and you go here. And then you go help them. I love the boat. That's the empty boat just pulling up. That's kind of dope. Okay, where's the next ones? Wow, that's a big boat. Okay, 
there's one. See, if any of Tolan's guys actually fall in battle, I can just pick them right back up. God, I'm having to split my eyes <laughs> in half. Yeah! This guy's so fucked. Uh-oh. Tolan, go help. So it looks like we got a little, like, rock, paper, scissors going on here. Like, archers defeat dudes without shields. Dudes without shields defeat dudes with shields. Shields defeat arrows. That means that you gotta go over here, right? Okay, cool. 26 of them. All right. Let's get Virgil a upgrade. Increased accuracy, rate of fire, and damage. Nice. To make them elites, we'll need even more. Let's next turn it. Eat that island. Oh, islands where we've been have blood stains on them. That's kind of awesome. And set up to Sande, home of Rickard. Well, you're coming with us, Rickard. All right. Where are they at? Uh, uh oh. How about you go there? You go back them up. Oh, jeez. Uh. Okay. 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 Resident. Okay. Uh. Hmm. You guys go there. You guys go there. Uh, you guys help them. Oh my god, there's so much blood. Get in there, boys. Oh, jeez. Go save yourself, Virgil. That's like the most pathetic Virgil I've ever seen. Man, the worst person who ha who could have that horn has that horn. <laughs> okay, cool. Got a bunch of dudes now. Let's see. Let's make you... Actually, what's your thing? Knockback resistance. So let's make you defensive. 
and tough. It's got a Gwilan. So I had initially intended to uh, do a couple of episodes of this, but I might only have one episode of it, but that's okay. Um, one of the things about Season 2 of Friday Night Roguelikes is that I've been trying to do more things that have, you know, I've been doing episodes that have multiple parts worth of uh, content in them. Because with Season 2, I wanted to sink my teeth in way more. I love this art style, I want to mention. Um, I really, really love the vibe. It looks like um, old like Scandinavian cave paintings, which is like so the vibe. Let's get you guys to fortify. Where's the next ones? Oh god, they're here, aren't they? Keep shooting, boys. God, it is, it is so morbid, but so cool to see just an empty boat roll up. So you gotta pick your, like, fortifications very strategically. It's pretty interesting. Like, where do you get your guys to stand? Where are you getting to stance up? Not quite Viking XCOM, but hey, we've got Banner Saga for that. I should play Banner Saga. It's not a roguelike. Man, it's really good, though. Cool. Continue. Wow. Hjarno. Niver. That's a that's a rough one. So if we have so I guess at least one commander needs to be on the boat. Or like able to lead the boat. So I guess the deal is like we need at least one to have the boat ready. So if we have one commander that didn't fight then he can uh you know, captain the boat. Oh, he fell in the water. That was so gnarly. Oh, man. That's just an empty boat. There's no one in it. Oh, God. Those poor... Those poor Jotun. I don't know that they're bad, but I also don't know that they're good, so... So you go... You guys go be there. And you go defend them. And okay, this way they can split their fire. Stop them. Right, everyone fortify up on this corner. So I wonder if you can get two archer squads shooting at different directions and blow through their shields easier. Or like one of them tries to block from left, but then arrows come from the right as well, and it just it's a bad it's a bad vibe. All right. See, I have no idea what the story or lore of this game is. I assume it's a very similar to Banner Saga. You know, the North is bad and Jotuns be coming. I'm going to guess that's what the vibe is. That's what I'm getting just based off of this, at least. Where's the last guys? They're over here. So you stand there. You go there. You go there. You fortify them. I like seeing this though. I like seeing my little military battles play out. No! The hoose! Okay, so they can take a few hits. Victoire! Ring of Command. Intriguing.
Ooh, took two islands at a time. Oh, it actually is a line there. That's useful. Wow. Room is just annihilated. All right, let's pick up a tier two upgrade for... Actually, what does this do? Increases squad size to 12. You're getting that. Um... You you should get that since you've been with us for a little. Yeah. Tolan and Rickard have a pretty decent advantage in terms of stuff, so they probably don't need as much gear as the others do. Okay. Poppy. Right, where are they coming in? There they are. Stance up on the corner, lads. They're kind of cute. You know, they remind me of the little meeples from the uh, the checkered game of life. Uh, one moment. Sorry, my wife texted me. I apologize for it taking a moment, but... I don't know if anyone would notice the difference if I didn't... Ah, oh, crap. If I didn't mention it. Quickly. <laughs> Meet them! Get them! Oh god. Oh god. They were walking. They got slaughtered. Oh no! <laughs> they can't attack while they walk. Oh no! Go there. Try to stance up. Defend. Luckily... I think she has better cooldown on that, so it, it's at least not as much of a, a hang-up if she needs to go heal. Actually, you guys should probably go in force there. Yeah, get in there. Okay. So yeah, it's good to, like, just pick a place for them and leave them there. Where are they coming in? It looks like there. So let's put them there and leave them there. Okay. We might have this. This might be okay. okay. Final wave incoming. Is it just dudes over there? It's a lot of dudes, but... Let's have them reinforce this path, because I don't know if they'll get over there in time. Yeah, see, they're pretty slow. Maybe they will. Alright. Stance up, guys. Yeah, they're doing it! They did it! Woo! Alright, that one was a little hairy, but we got through it. This is cool. I might play this more off-screen. Um, I'm not sure how much I am going to play, but it is nice. I do like this. Uh, Ulva, Isle of Sorts. Uh, let's go through this one. Right. Uh, they're taking Gwilin and Sande the next turn. So let's get Sade. Local commander. So what's Varney's deal? Okay, so we only have four guys. What's your deal? Uh, he won't flee because it's his home. That's interesting. Oh, there they are. Let's move them away, actually. They're going to take needless damage. Then move you guys up to deliver the killing blows. You got it, I bet. Yeah. Let's grab some of you guys. Uh, that's a lot of archers.
Ooh, interesting. Yeah! Am I desensitized to blood? I might be. It just occurred to me I was about to talk about how cute the blood is and like... I mean, I guess it's kind of cute. But maybe that's not a thing I should be saying. Get him! Yeah! Okay, we got more guys coming in. So, it looks like they're going to the same place. So let's have you reinforce there. Actually, let's have you... Let's have you guys replenish. They're not looking so good. Oh, the timer is based on how many you have. That's actually pretty useful and smart. Wow. Okay, you have to get there. You have to be near to reinforce. Okay. We've got spearmans. So let's hope that this is... Okay, we've got you now. Nope, we've got you now. Go reinforce them. Help them, hurry. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> Two reinforcements and I had to blow the horn. Ugh, barbaric. Varney is popular. I guess literally, like he's more populated. Okay. So. Squad size plus one. Yeah. Um, wow. Let's make you, Virgil, Virgil has squad size to 12. So if we're going to diversify up, let's make you pikemans. Yes, right, okay. Next turn. And let's put Rickard back in, but let's... Yeah, let's let her rest. So yeah, it's like a Viking organ trail. That's precisely what I wanted. Um. Okay. If I saw one guy in a boat with a sword, I would just start... I would be ready to die. This is a boss. Oh my god! That's, uh, that's terrifying. I hate that, in fact. Let's get you guys there, in fact. Oh crap, those are archers. It'd be really cool when I get to have multiple commanders. Can you guys just reinforce them there? What are these? Does this game have lore? I want to know. I'm like legitimately interested by it. Honestly, you could just say that it's in canon with Banner Saga. And I would be like, yeah, that makes sense. I love that. I'm happy. Because I like Banner Saga. It's good. I'm trying to have one of these fucking roguelike episodes where I don't spend the whole episode just talking about another roguelike show. Uh, another video game, though, so... 
Bandersog will have to wait for a different time. You guys stand there instead. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Okay. Isle of Sort has a guy there. So let's next turn it. Let's go. See, I could conceivably do fights with four guys, right? Actually, let's... Celia... And Varney. I could conceivably do a fight with two commanders, just like I did at the start. And that would free up three commanders to go do the next one. But I don't really want to do that. Oh god. This was a mistake, I think. Oh, nope, never mind. We got, we got, we got guys we need. Oh dear. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh god, she's dead. Dude, these boss Yoden don't mess around. <laughs> They're for real. One of the issues is that there isn't as much... Uh, as you can... You can't do as much... Um, sorry, I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. Uh, it's sometimes kind of difficult to know what you need to do for a specific thing because they don't look as like they all they're all blue you know they're they're all blue here let's be let's be frank No. God, this is a spike in difficulty. Steal the boat. Run away. It's clever. Tolan, go. Oh God, go, go, go. Oh my god, one survivor. That was miserable. We got wrecked, man. There's so many blood and dead blue guys. Wow, they make you watch. Dead and fled. Jeez, oh, Pete's. That sucked. Okay, I see where the difficulty comes in. It has a spike in it. Damn it, I lost two commanders. I'm kind of salty about that. 
I'm back up to four though, so that's good at least. And I was just like, man, what if I got like eight commanders? Then I would have so many guys. Wouldn't that be neat? God, Tolan is my rock, dude. Actually, you stand there. Oh god, because Virgil's dead, he lost that ring that let his squad be bigger. Oop. Lunch time for babies. Jeez, these things are scary, man. They have so far been responsible for my only loss and the death of two of my commanders. That's a. Th these guys are problems. See, I want to zoom in so I can see the cool fights, but, uh, I can't. Because I'll miss other important things. Oh my god, three of them. Very interesting way of generating little islands, though. And it makes sense as a, um, as a piece of, like, gameplay stuff, you know? Oh, God. <gasps> Tolan's dead. Oh, gosh. No houses available, yep. There's another one. We won't run away, though. I mustn't run away, in fact. Hold the fucking line, guys. Hold the line! <laughs> what happened to you, dude? Did you fall off? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. And of course it employs a rich-get-richer system. That's the issue with a lot of games. Dead. Because it has a system wherein... The better you do, the more loot you get. What this means... Oh, it shows them. Oh, it doesn't show the one guy we got. That's funny. I guess we buried Tolan with his useful items. So yeah, very reminiscent. Uh, I'm going to keep playing, but I'm, I'm doing some, some summations now. Very reminiscent of Brutes, is what those people are called, apparently. Um, FTL faster than light. Very much so. But, and it even has the same sort of system with uh, fights that occur with real-time controls. Oh, man. I'm so nervous now that I only have two guys. Here, where's the next? Bring him in, everyone. Archers, so. Let's send these guys to counter them. Oh, 
It even has the same thing as FTL as like there's a big force chasing you. Uh oh. This isn't good. They don't actually have a way to defend from that. <gasps> Go. Quickly. Damn you. Um We're uh we're dead. This is very XCOM in that once you game over, like once something bad happens, once anything bad happens, it's just a downward spiral for the rest of the game until everyone's dead. Not a bad game. This isn't a bad game I'm playing right here. This is a good game. Though there are some systems I, as I mentioned, I disagree with. I don't like rich get richer systems. Although I know they're so hard to not use. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. This is not good. You know, it was that one mistake so long ago I gave the wrong guy that horn and then because they had the horn they couldn't instantly uh, regenerate the other person couldn't instantly regenerate which meant that my other guys weren't defended and then that's how I lost those two commanders and then because I had to go with three guys instead of four that's how I lost another commander And it just keeps on keeping on, you know? What? Oh, it's rain. On the way! Interesting to have a roguelike- oh, crap. You guys, you're uh, trying to take a, a nap in a house that is on fire. Defeat. Well, that's what happens. Game Ogre. All your commanders died, no kidding. Percentage complete, 41. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're going to have another episode of this, y'all. One more, though. Not too much more. Uh, but until then, I've been Alfred. This is Bad, Yorth, Yot Bad North Yoten Edition. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming by. See ya.